For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and it's time for your daily dose of the doctor. This morning, I've got a special request from my buddy Rick. He wants to know how to set up conditional orders, so let's take a look at Realtik and the process for setting up a conditional order that gets you out of the way of the freight train first thing in the morning on a big gap open and has you avoid that coincidental entry as a stock is moving against the position that you want it to go. So here we have Praxair, and this is PX. This is from the trading plan for today, for July 27th, 2015. And we see what happened on the open. The opening tick was all the way down here at uh, almost 50% of the distance to the profit target. Stock went down to 10 cents to the profit target. Had never hit the entry at this point. So if you just had a live order out there, your order is still sitting there. Then on the way up to 112.53, it would have tagged you in and then taking you straight to the stop loss, 112.89. Not at all what you want to have happen, especially when the stock has already been 10 cents to the profit target. So how do you set this order up so that you're not trapped first thing in the morning? Let's take a look at the conditional order function. So the first thing you want to do is check conditional order at your order options. If you're using Realtik, the system order form you want to use is Standard 2, and Standard 2 has all the different types of... Uh, orders here with the exception of bracket. If you want access to bracket orders as well, just go to system order forms and select bracket and that will give you bracket and conditional there. So either way, I like that uh, order entry too. I've actually got my bracket orders on a speed key. So let's just go and do a standard two and check conditional order. Now in this case, we just have to be careful how we structure the order. So this is a sell short, right? So conditional order, and I've got my order size set to 500 here. Let's change this to, uh, let's say you're trading fewer shares. You're trading uh, 200 shares, and you're going to show 100. Conditional order, sell short. That's going to pop up your conditional order screen. And you see it's all here. Everything that you need to set up that conditional order is loaded up in this box. So now you have to think your way through this. Right? We're going to try to avoid getting stopped into this trade as it moves up through this line at 112.53. So the first thing that we want to say is price has to be above 112.53 in order for us to get pushed into a trade. Now, if you read the around the horn rules, right, we're looking for at least eight cents before there's a second entry. If price is coming from below, we kind of always assume that this is probably going to be a second entry, right? We don't know whether or not it's hit the profit target first thing in the morning. A lot of times on a volatile open, it does. So let's say that we're just going to go straight with the criteria from the Around the Horn rule book. So on Praxair, we want to see the last price be greater than or equal to 112.53 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cents. Of course, you can also go and type that value in there. If the price is greater than 112.61, then I'm ready for a few things to start happening. I'm going to put a stop limit order in and say, if I come down through my entry price, this time I'll just type it 112.53, that's my stop price or my activation price, then I'm going to sell short, and the worst price that I'm willing to accept on this one is going to be, let's say, 112.49. Pick the route you're going to go, Make sure it's a day order so it doesn't sit on your order book after the close. And let's just do a quick review. And if you are uncertain, you can do a request confirmation. That means that when it comes back down to that price, it's going to ask you, do you really want to do this? So now if I say place order, if price goes above 112.61, then moves back down through my stop price 112.53, I'm going to get short between 112.53 and 112.49. Go ahead and place that order. So as you see, nothing happened here. I'm not live or anything. It didn't trigger me into a trade. That's because price is currently trading right at that profit target, 111.97. So what would have happened here? In this first bar of trading, once price got up to 112.61, we would have had an order that went live. If you look at the 25 tick chart on this one, you'll see that what happened was price shot all the way up from 112.53 to 112.89 without ever looking back, came back down again, 
would have got you in at 112.53. That would have been the first time it put you into PX for the day. If you just used a limit order on the open, you got popped into this and got stopped out. If you used the conditional order, you never got this trade. You got filled on the way back down. And in fact, you have made it all the way down to the profit target. Now, is it always coming up roses when you do it this way? No. Take a look at what happened on TGI this morning. So again, let's set up a conditional order pre-market, and then let's just anticipate what's going to happen. We say, sell short TGI. The order entry screen pops up, and we say, 59.22 is the entry price that we want. So it's got to be trading above $59.30 on the open in order for us to have a live order. Then we say we want a stop limit order, 59.22, the worst price we'll take, 59.19 let's say, sell it short. If it's trading above 59.30 and comes down to 59.22, we want to get short all the way down to 59.19, that's the worst price that we'll accept. And we're only going to show 100 shares and again, you know, whatever number of shares you're trading here is... Uh, this is the quantity that you actually want, and this is the quantity you're going to show, and you say place that order. Now what happened? In this case, your conditional order actually prevented you from getting filled. So if you had a marketable limit order out before the market opened this morning, and you said get me short 59.22 down to 59.18 or 59.19 on this trade, you wound up in this position right off the opening bell, and you wound up going down to the 10 cents to profit target level and you got taken out at the 50% to target reversal. So you made 31 cents per share by not using the conditional order and you made zero by using the conditional order because you were never triggered in. So those are the ups and downs of using the conditional on the entry and in this case we see that it kept us out of trouble on one trade and kept us from opportunity on the other. So there you go, guys. We cover this pretty extensively at the boot camp. I hope that this refreshes your memory on how to set these up. There, of course, are a bunch of intricacies that uh, I'm not covering here. If you want to come to the next boot camp and learn all about all this stuff, then go ahead and have a look at this. We have got a boot camp coming up in Miami Beach, September 27th through the 30th. If you're interested in completing the application for the boot camp, go ahead and click the link at the bottom of the screen. And what you're going to get then is a review and a phone call by my wife, Julie. She's going to talk to you, see if you're a good fit for the boot camp. And if the boot camp is a good fit for you, most likely we're going to do a follow-up call with me to make sure that everything is in sync. And if it seems like it's a good match, then you can come and work with us, learn everything there is to know. And by the end of the Miami Beach Boot Camp, you're going to have the soup to nuts version of exactly what it takes to trade these setups for a living each and every day. So if you have any questions about setting up conditional orders, shoot me an email, adrian at traderinsight.com. Hope you're having a great trading day today. Even better one on deck for Tuesday. The best trader education anywhere, only from traderinsight.com.